Yeah. So did you know Riaz's story before? No, I didn't actually. Right. Um, slightly embarrassingly, but because um, he works at DMU now. But um, I suppose it's maybe not a story that you would. It wouldn't be the first opener to a conversation. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Um, it's, I think, and I think that's why it's so important that um, this production is going ahead because it's telling such an interesting story um, about a young person growing up in a city like Leicester and the kind of different communities that you come in and out of. Yeah. Through that journey. And I think the plays um, unafraid to be provocative. Yeah. And perhaps to hold a mirror up and remind us of a less um, easy and yeah. palatable time. Absolutely. And I think, you know, because I think it's, you know, we're here in right in the heart of Leicester today and, you know, the sort of diversity. Mm and the sort of multiculturalism and the sort of vibrancy of the mm -hmm. place mm. is, you know, is evident everywhere you look yeah. and, it, and it's so wonderful to be part of that. But I yeah. think we, we come at it from a very privileged position because Absolutely. certainly from my point of view, this is the only way I've known this city. Yeah, yeah. But of course, Absolutely. when you read Riaza's story and you learn what it was to be a, a yeah. nine year old Pakistani boy going on the bus and yeah. it was just standard to be racially abused yeah. and that was the accepted norm. Yeah. That's a very different snapshot Completely of our different. city and yeah, yeah. Um, it's not to say everything is hunky dory today but it's it's um, it reminds us. The conversation's us, changed. Isn't yeah, it? yeah exactly yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then again I think that's why um, from um, DMU's perspective we were so excited to be engaged in this production because um, one of the one of the brilliant things about the relationship I think between Curve and DMU is that we're both so committed to this city and celebrating the richness that this city has to offer and um, obviously Curve does that through its productions and its, its cultural output but um, the university is so committed to supporting that because it's so important they're important lessons for yeah. students to learn and it's great that they can do it in a supportive environment and you know do it down at Curve it's such a fantastic theatre you know they get to um, come as part of this partnership and see some of the um, technical rehearsals and what actually goes into putting on yeah. a production how that yes. actually works all of yeah. the stuff behind the scenes yeah. literally behind yeah, yeah, the scenes, yeah, yeah. Um, is, is um it's really exciting for the students i think to come and come and really experience that yeah well likewise for us i mean the energy and the sort of I life that, they yeah. bring into the venue is, is extraordinary that's and the magic isn't it yeah it is yeah and <laughs> yeah. the diversity of talents i mean you know it, we've got so many different dmu students sort of working at curve now or associated with us yeah we've always been a friend of curve since obviously opened 10 years ago as we were celebrating the other day um, and i think it's just been really important for the for, for dmu to have felt that it's really closely associated with the theatre and is helping to, in, in this sense, you know, work with you on a production. Yeah. It's great yeah. for our students to be involved in that, but also um, just in, in general supporting culture in the city. It's, yes. it's an agenda we, are, we all buy into and we all think is really, really important and it's, um, it's kind of making sure we're actually actively doing things to promote that and, and being involved. Brilliant.